welcome to another video on this YouTube channel. My name is Dobias Veninger and in this video we're going to have a look at stacking technologies. Within Aruba there are two different stacking technologies. One is called VSF, that's front plane stacking. Within front plane stacking you're using normal ports and convert them to stacking ports in order to create a virtual switch. But in this video we're going to have a look at backplane stacking and in particular backplane stacking on an Aruba 3810M switch. And with backplane stacking you're using specialized port or a module in combination with specialized port and specific cabling. And this cabling, if you then connect these ports to each other, you create a high-speed backplane. And with backplane stacking, there's three different topologies supported. One is a chain, the other one is a ring, and then the last one is a mesh. Within a ring and chain, you can support up to a maximum of 10 switches in a stack. And then these 10 switches will become one virtual switch. The last technology is meshing, where you create more bandwidth in the stack, and therefore you also need more ports, so you have less switches that are supported in the stack. So in the meshing topology, you can support up to maximum of five switches in a stack. Then by default, if a stacking module is in a switch, and you turn on the switch, stacking will be enabled by default. So in this particular demonstration we do, we have one switch, where stacking is, where the stacking module was in the switch, the switch is booted, so stacking was enabled by default. The other switch we booted without stacking enabled. So then we show you on the command line how you can enable stacking, reboot the switch, and connect the cables later to create a switching. So in the most most convenient way with backplane stacking, you turn on, you have all the switches off, you 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 put in all the modules, you do all the cabling, and then turn all the switches on and your stacking automatically is created. What you will see is that then you will have a commander and a standby and if you have more members uh, you, they will show up as members. But in our case we only have two switches so we will see a commander and a standby. So let's dive in to your switch on the bottom with stacking module booted up so automatically enabled. Switch on the top no stacking module and boot it. So we're going to add it right now into the switch. Hereby you see the module, it's a four port module. We're going to install the module in the switch. And after that, we need to make sure we are going to enable stacking. So let's go to the command line and let's do a show running config. As you can see, this is a very basic configuration, default configuration. And if you look at the stacking outcome, you can see the stacking is disabled. So if you now go into a configuration mode and enable stacking. Okay, now we need to reboot and let's wait for the reboot. Okay, switch is booted up. Let's have a look at the running config. Okay, there we go. Now let's have a look at how stacking uh, looks like. Okay, as you can see, all enabled with one member. So let's swap console port now to go to the other switch. Okay, we are connected to the console. Let's have a look at the running configuration. That looks all good. Now let's have a look at stacking because it should be enabled because this one is booted up with the module. Here you can see all enabled. Now we are going to connect the cables to make sure that both switches now form a stack in order to become one virtual switch. There we go. Cable is connected. And then let's quickly return back to the console port in order to verify what's going on. And as you can see now a boot is initiated on both switches and they will start to reboot after that we will get back to the console and can see if the, if the if the stack is formed while the switch is rebooting we are using the plug and play method so the first switch that boots up will become commander the second one will become the standby and everybody else will become the member so the switch is booted and as you can see with the show stacking command we have a commander and standby because we only have two switches the other one will show as member in in this configuration here you can see our setup and we have stacking configured very easy just by plugging the cables thank you very much and hope to see you next time bye bye